Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is August, and what I'm about to say is going to shock some of you, but it almost seems like the best thing to do at this late stage of footies, but specifically with what is coming Friday. We're going to talk about something related to packs and footies team four and the re-release number three once again but before we do that we also need to talk about team of the season cards and investing in them because that's everybody's biggest question right now is this going to be another week where todd's cards go from 30k to 50 to 60k plus what we have to look at from last year might shock you because this next couple of days might change things for team of the seasons we're going to take a look at that and maybe get your footies teams ready for a new weekend league objective coming today we have a little bit to discuss today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now first as we always do let's look at yesterday's content on wednesday we had a couple of things that were expected but you know what we honestly had one of the better player sbcs in the realm of the cheap cards of footies. I'll be honest, Peter Crouch, right away when I saw this SBC, I wasn't super excited. For me personally, it's a card that I already have in the club at a really high rating. I've got an Evo version of Crouch with 99 shooting, but it's the playstyle pluses that make this card honestly kind of broken. He's going to be Weghorst esque with the very high height, six foot seven, but he's also got aerial plus, acrobatic plus for some crazy crosses and volleys he's going to be able to pull off, but he also has finesse shot and that's something that a crouch card has never had before imagine hitting finesses outside of the box with a six foot seven striker who's normally in the box going for headers that's some versatility right and that's the interesting part about this peter crouch card if only he was five star five star but for the price of an 87 rated squad and no team of the seasons which is like amazing right we love it when there's no team of the season requirement, 42,000 coins to this card. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to complain about. So this is one of the better, more fun SBCs of footies thus far. We've had plenty of them, right? You look through the list of all these different player SBCs, but this is one that is just fun and it's getting a lot of love. I think rightfully so. But like I said, for me, I already have a crouch card that's got 99 shooting and I believe it might be five star, five star, but it doesn't have finesse plus. So I don't think I'm going to do this SBC, but if you just want a fun card to try out uh, to take tinker around with in champs or maybe in qualification games today that one is there and there's not too much else to stay with it except it's fun and honestly gg's to ea for a fun kind of meta card also at the same time but for the price really really cheap fun sbc now the other pack that we had yesterday was the expected wednesday guaranteed pack of course relating to team of the tournament and footies cards but once again just like the 94 plus that came out on tuesday we're gonna have an opportunity to do it again that's what i'm saying i think this friday is gonna shift things forward in terms of the footies content it seems like these sbcs refreshing the other stuff we know about footies batch three when it usually comes out especially related to last year things are looking on the up i'm just ready to get there right but this sbc yesterday was coming in at once again a cheap price of 85 and 86 rated squads really really low on the rating there and it's again repeatable here in a couple of days now we were opening these on stream per usual and there's a lot of fodder, right? We saw a lot of footies cards from these, but it was a lot of like Papins, a lot of Courtois, a lot of Sancho's. If you want to check that out, it is on the second channel as always. Um, it's definitely cheap, but it had a decent amount of pulls. We actually did pack a decent amount of Fabian Ruiz yesterday. That was really interesting uh, for me to see. Fabian Ruiz was like kind of common from those. And since this SBC is only 80K, like to be completely honest, packing anything over 100,000 coins, is a W. So that SBC isn't that hard to actually profit from, from an untradeable card. If you want to look at it that way, it is worth doing. But honestly, man, that 92 plus is still one of the better SBCs out at the moment with the non-tots requirements that I'm, I'm finding myself coming back to this SBC more often than not. Now in SBCs as well, we had the icon SBC refresh. You can see I've got one of two squads done for this. A lot of people were doing this SBC yesterday as well, because it is one of the better upgrades that is out right now it's just of course the footies upgrade pack spam if you did these yesterday it was i don't know you probably got dupes that's how, that's what we keep feeling with these sbcs you get a lot of dupes but again it's that chance at an upper echelon card we actually did have a couple of w's yesterday hit a couple of brazilian icons in this player pick but again most of them 
are pretty mid to low rated cards and the footies are starting to show up more from this but it's worth the chance especially with the menus the exchange the 82 plus picks 84 tens and all of that out right now those are being spammed once again for good reason we've had good icon picks now for the past couple of weeks after months of them being bad it's nice to have good icon player picks. I totally feel that. Now, in objectives, I do want to point this out. We had another banter player objective dropped yesterday. Mateo Stappa, 99 defense, but really, who is he stopping? He's 5'9", midi midi work rates, a center back that is 5'9". He can also play on the right and the left right back positions left back positions and center defensive mid but honestly this is one of the objective cards that really is here for the banter and that is about it one of the spcs as well going back there we have to talk about this of course that refreshed again yesterday was the 90 plus tots upgrade as well this is what we were expecting and this was going to make prices drop let's talk about this guys in relation to spc fodder because of course with an spc like the team of the tournament and footies guaranteed coming out yesterday of course with the icon player pick refreshing too both requiring tots cards in each of the squads did team of the seasons drop yes but did they drop as much as i really hoped that they would the answer to that is no, TOTS cards are not 30,000 coins flat like I was hoping them to be for a possible investment. They're right now 30, 38k, like 36, 37, 38,000 coins is as low as these cards have gone, which is crazy to me. It's understandable, but it's still crazy, right? Understandable because there are more SBCs than last week even that require these cards at the moment, which is keeping their prices inflated. But crazy to me in the fact that what we have coming this Friday is actually starting to scare me from investing in team of the season cards. Guys, TOTS cards did not go as low as I wanted them to, and I wanna show you some graphs from last year. We looked at yesterday the footies team three, or batch team, batch three, right? Release team three, that included a lot of high rated cards last year, including a lot of team of the seasons. This year, guys, I think it's going to include a lot of team of the seasons as well. I also think that it's going to include some promo cards like we mentioned from team of the tournament and maybe even like path to glory. But it's the TOTS cards that are so prevalent in this last batch of the footies re-release that really destroyed prices. And this is what I want to show you from last year because after going back and looking at some graphs to double check what I was thinking after the stream yesterday, I realized, wow, the TOTS situation changed drastically last year. Last year on August 18th, that was the day that Footies Batch 3 was released. That was one of the last weeks of Footies. And I remember specifically on that Friday, I have a tweet that I just put out this morning, like TOTS cards were like in every single pack because there were so many of them in the re-release. And all TOTS cards, you can see they were inflated. They rose during the course of Footies. During the month of July, TOTS cards went from 20,000 coins up to like 40 to 50K. Kind of sounds similar to what we have going on right now in this game, right? They go down to 30 every week and go up to 40, 50K plus, but they absolutely got destroyed during this first week. It's not just like that card of Andre, right? This Brownhill card from EFL TOTS, right? He was re-released too, went from 48,000 coins to 13K. Guys, TOTS cards got destroyed last year with the same bash that's going to be coming out Friday, the same timing of this Team 3 re-release. I'm worried that it's going to happen again. Now, I know this year is a different year. And some of you guys are like, Nate, man, it's worked every single week. And EA are requiring more TOTS cards than ever. I totally understand that. But I really think, especially with the way footies is going this year, EA is kind of following that same trend and curve that they did last year with how they're releasing the players in packs, how they're releasing the SBCs. And they're even slower, it seems, in releasing endgame crazy cards and SBCs as well. But I think one of the steps of them continuing to do that is to make the TOTS cards super packable that they're going to continue to require in all these SBCs. Guys, I'm worried. I'm worried that TOTS cards are not going to go up this week because they're going to be so packable that they're in almost every single pack. Like crazy, man. Go look at the tweet that I posted uh, just a few hours ago or, or right away, actually. It's probably out as this video is going live. Check that tweet out because that's the type of packs you will see, hopefully, if they re-release a lot of Team of the Season cards in packs. So, will TOTS cards go to 20,000 coins? You know, that's that's crazy. Like, 11,000 coins was pretty crazy. The, the TOTS cards this year have not been that cheap at all. There's more demand for TOTS cards, and it feels like there's so many other cards that EA could put in packs with the Team of the Tournaments, with the Path to Glories, with the Maker Mark cards even. There might be less TOTS cards in packs this year than last year, right? Because last year it was just, if you look at this, it was Shapeshifters, TOTS cards, and a couple of like 
what was it like um the the icons or like that's about it shapeshifter icons trophy titans icons that's about it right there's going to be more cards implemented in this year as well but i think the tots cards they could end up being 20k so i am not investing this week i know i'm taking a bit of a risk because they could go back up to 45 50 000 coins this week but you know what i'm going to take the chance because that is how it went last year and ea are creatures of habit. That's just my take. If you want to invest, you can absolutely do so. If you just want to stock a few on your transfer list, if you're still working on SBCs and right now you're like, Nate, these are so cheap. I have coins. I want to get SBCs done. Then by all means, have fun. Do what's going to make you have the most fun in this game at the moment. Do the icon pick if you want. Do the 92 plus picks if you want, the 94 plus, whatever you're crafting. If you have to buy a Tots card, do it. I would just say for a heavy investment to try to make a ton of coins, I'm staying away this week because I don't think it's going to be as profitable if a lot of Tots cards come back into packs. Now, with this re-release also in mind, we're talking about the team of the tournament cards once again because, guys, I really feel like a lot of people still have these cards in their team. And maybe it's just it's people that don't watch the videos that aren't really caring about the market and thinking ahead. But this Musiala, who was less than a million coins, is now 1.7. We know what happens to cards when they get re-released in packs. Remember this Shapeshifters Virgil van Dyke last year in FIFA 23? This guy was elite. He was insane. And he was 4 million coins. He got re-released on the Friday of Batch 3. Re-release down to 1.8 two days later. He dropped from 4.3 to 1.8 mil. Some of these cards are going to absolutely get destroyed if they get re-released. Now, once again, we have so many specials this year. In the late game with the Copa America PTGs, the Make Your Mark, the Team of the Tournament cards, Copa and Euros, right? There's so many cards. EA's not going to put like 300 special cards in packs. Maybe they'll have 200 like we had with Batch 3 last year. So some of these cards may not get re-released, but I think if the pack weight is like it is last year and if EA finally start to open the gates on the content of footies and make it like when you open some of these packs and you're getting an 85 times 10 with only one gold card or like no gold cards in them and the rest of the pack is all specials like 88 and above, that's the type of stuff we're talking about here, guys. That's kind of like crazy end game. This is the time last year that everybody remembers about footies, what we're about to enter into. So I know I'm gassing up this next week. I know I'm gassing up Friday content, but this is really the time last year where everything clicked and everything took off. The big player SBCs came out and a lot of the prices on meta cards just tanked because the SBCs went crazy and a lot of the newest special cards that were meta at that time got re-released back into packs. So this is again another reminder. Tell your friends, tell them if you got the cards, cash them out. Any of these cards that are still holding a lot of value, millions of coins worth, especially if they get re-released, they're going to tank. Even if they don't get re-released, they're probably going to drop over the weekend as a lot of cards who are going to be really meta will get re-released and hopefully EA kind of adjust the content to the levels that we're expecting as well. So that's all that I'm saying. And with that, as we talk about the probabilities of this Friday, two days in a row now, really talking about Friday and getting excited for it because honestly, that's what's keeping me going in this game the most is how good footies could be and like how close we are to that. I'm saving packs. In August, I'm saving packs. These are all the packs saved from the weekend league objective that expired yesterday. I got rank five, got my 11 wins. Um, I got somebody decent actually from rewards. Don't remember who it was, but it was actually a halfway decent. Oh, I got Fabian Ruiz from my player picks. That was my pull. So there you go, up to date on that. But I'm starting to save packs, guys. I have 384 times tens that I'm literally gonna use coins to go and craft because we have 5.8 mil. There's no use or no sense in us missing a couple of SBCs. I will go pay whatever it costs to buy. I'll even go buy team of the seasons at 37K, like I just mentioned, to go finish off these 84 times tens, finish off these, and then stash them for Friday. We're gonna get five more of these today, and maybe I'll open two or three of them just so I can finish another 92 plus player pick. But I'm gonna be honest, this sort of player pick is probably gonna come back on Friday as well. It should be refreshing. Maybe they'll even up it to like 93 plus, and um, they'll still have PTG, make your mark, team of the tournament, and all the footies cards in it. So, I think a player pick like this is going to refresh. The 84 times 10, I want to save those packs. The 85 times 10 as well. Just because if this Friday is going to be as legit as I hope it could be, remembering how last Friday or last year on this Friday was, I want to have some packs because honestly, that's what brings me some hype right now in this game. If you're still grinding through and you're like, Nate, I want to send these 92 picks because I don't know if they're going to be there. Or Nate, I'm really doing the Etto Fish SBC and I really want to get him done as fast as possible. Keep grinding. 
keep crafting, don't stop now. But if you're like me and you're just like, man, this is dragging a little bit. I'm ready for the next set of footies. I'm I'm ready for the weekend because we know the weekends have been great, right? Footies team one, team two, team three, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're popping. And then during the week, it just kind of drops off, right? And we know how they can fix that. Some of the cards that are impacts, make them even more meta, drop the most recent ones and team of the seasons, make them packable so that the grind truly feels unlimited, but also fun at the same time because of big time player SBCs. If that grind gets insane, like it should be this Friday, I'm going to save some packs for that. I know it sounds crazy, but to be honest, that's what sounds fun to me right now. So I'm going to do it. Whatever sounds the most fun for you, that's what I want you guys to do. And if that does involve saving packs, then go for it. If it doesn't, then don't do it. I'm just letting you know how I'm feeling right now about things. Now, that's all my spiel about Friday. A lot of information, a lot of hype. I promise I'm not gassing it up because it, it should be gassed up or it deserves to be. Like, there's a hype level here that needs to be hit because footies this year, we can say it. I feel like we say it almost every single video. It's missing the mark. It's kind of like footies is coming in at 80% of what it really could be. And it just feels like EA are holding back. And that last 20%, it's got to be this Friday. It's got to be. Now, speaking of content today, the last day of footies team three and batch team two of the re-release what are we expecting we have one player sbc left we had the crouch yesterday we're expecting cordoba today right we had those leaks earlier on in the week we finally got the crouch and i'm guessing today we're going to get the cordoba as well really interested to see again what is EA going to do with the rating of this cordoba because we already have a 93 and we have a 95 are they just going to give him a plus one and make it a really not that hype sbc they're going to make him a 98 and make him crazy and make him expensive give him the best play style pluses and actually make us want to crack after Cordoba SBC, we could see that as well. I'm really thinking it'll be the earlier, the first of those two mentions, a cheaper one, not that crazy, but we'll see. He's the last leaked player that we have. The bigger thing, honestly, for today is get your footies teams ready because I know I said it last week or earlier on in this week as well, but it just feels like we have the silver cup that is out right now, which I haven't even started yet, but we're expecting a new foot champs objective today. Because the other one um, is expiring, I believe, right? Oh, it's actually already gone. It expired yesterday. Mine auto-claimed for the rewards. But we should be getting another footies weekend league foot champs challenge type of objective SBC today. And I really think one of the last things that they could do is they've already required tots. They've required the festival football players now just require footies. So I'm going to go build a full footies team because your boy... I have some decent ones, but I might actually have to go and do an SBC like Crouch, or I might even go and have to do a couple more SBCs because the state of my footies club, who do I have? Oh, Dybala, Werner, Rashford. Yeah, of course, we have a lot of the cards from the season, uh, and that's good. Got a true many Evo. No Evo premiums. Do I have any heroes? I've got Abedi Pele. I've got Papin. So actually, we've got plenty of cards. Any of the footies type would fit. Ribery, Kaka. So we have options there. Footies premium, what do we have? We have Sorloth, Boniface, Kudu. So we do have options for sure. But just get a footies team ready. I know I mentioned that earlier in the week. I think that's going to come back to be a really important thing here in the next couple of days. Whether it's today with a new objective or if it's next week, it's going to be coming. Now today on Thursday as well, also XP, right? Big day for XP because the weekly is going to be refreshing. I don't expect too much else other than the weekly objectives refreshing. Maybe they'll give us a little bit of a bonus in the weekend league objective for xp maybe we'll have to see but i would expect that to be changing today as well and a new daily login because those have been actually coming out on thursdays not on fridays uh so another daily login objective today could give us you know maybe a player at the end like some of them have or just some decent packs i think the daily logins actually just been packs each and every time it's been the 84 times 10 group reward each time as well so definitely watch out for that and of course leaks for footies team number four we've been gassing up this friday once again who's going to be in footies team four they gave us a 99 ronaldo we already have a 99 messi are they going to give us like you know we have a 98 mbappe are they going to give us a 99 right now i think i'm the most curious as to who's going to be getting the 99s next because we had one two three in this last team three are they going to give us a fourth uh, are they going to give us four in team four? You know, it's kind of, have there been two? Was there two in team two? We have 99 and we have 99. <laughs> I just picked up on this. There were two 99s in team two. There's three in team three. Was there only one in team one? There was a 99 Puteus and there was just one. Hmm. Okay, guys, maybe four 99 radius coming in packs tomorrow. Again, another reason 
We're following the trends. We're picking up on the trends. Might be a little late, but we're picking up on it. So watch out for leaks. The footies leaks have not been coming out a ton, but maybe we will get some. Now, speaking of leaks, this is kind of the only leak that I find the most interesting from yesterday. There was some stuff about career mode. If you want to check that out, there is a deep dive on that. I'm not huge into career mode, so for me, it's not that crazy. But a foot share, I've said that Muhammad Noor is the first confirmed hero for FC25. Today, he was at the Al Idiyad Stadium to record the advertisement. And he's going to be a rating of 88. So Foot Sheriff got some behind-the-scenes access, I guess, there. Uh, that we are getting a Mohamed Noor card as a hero in FC25. That is a name that I have not seen leaked at all. But there was, I think, a latest leak for a Tim Howard hero card. I would be super down for that. Any of my American fans also out there would be very excited. So... That's kind of the content of this game. Let's hope Thursday surprises us. But really, my sights are set for tomorrow on Friday. We'll see if we learn any news about it today on Thursday. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys for the last day of Footies Team 3 and Batch Number 2 in the stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace out.